Hey folks, my name is Sean and in this video I'll show you how I got wireless or Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and AirDrop working on my Hackintosh build. This is an ITX build and so um, this is based off of a Gigabyte X570i board. It is an ITX build and all ITX builds should be similar uh, but I mean each manufacturer is a little different in their ways. Basically to kind of start off you want to remove all the all the screws on the back side and on this particular board there's a whole lot of screws on the back side probably 10 or 11 screws that I had to remove before I could kind of start uh, there were screws holding the brackets for the back panel there are screws holding the covering for the front panel and so once you remove all of that you can take the covering off and then you you just want to pull straight up on the wireless card it's, it's just an M.2 card that kind of sits on your board once you remove that, as you can see here in this particular casing here, take the casing out and then you'll see the little card on the inside of it. The card on the inside, there, it's attached with the screw plus two small black connectors at the end there. And those are really tiny and they're, they're kind of really hard to work with. But the, the plugs just kind of snap on straight down and so you would just want to pull it straight up to un unsnap it. And this card I got on Amazon for $49.99. Uh, they have the same card on Newegg as well too. I'll share the links below, but it, it works. It's got pretty good reviews. Um, once you remove the card, you just reinstall everything in reverse. And so I'll put the new card in here. Getting those two tiny black cables on connectors onto this card was pretty tough. It probably took me about 10 minutes. Uh, I don't know why, but it took me a really long time to get those two little connectors on. And then I put the tape back on, screw the case back on, and then I start putting everything kind of back together at this point. Overall, it took me roughly about 30 minutes to kind of just replace this card by itself. I did have to take my whole system apart so I can get to the board and, and kind of work on it. But yeah, it, it wasn't too complex, it was just tedious because all the screws were so small. Once you have everything uh, replaced, then you just plug it right back in, put the covers back on, put all the screws back on the back, and then put your system back in, clean up your thermal paste, and put new paste, and uh, yeah, just put your system back in, boot it up, and everything, everything worked for me. Um, Bluetooth worked, Wi-Fi worked, uh, airdrop worked um, and so everything was cool and so I mean I'm completely satisfied with the card completely satisfied with my system at this point I don't think I'm gonna do too much more if I do I'll keep you guys updated thanks for watching bye if you have any questions uh, feel free to comment below and I'll try to answer them as best as I can